Y'all, while we're here, I'm just gonna do a quick tour. This is the bunk area, and it's a little messy. Like I said, we had a window leak. We had to get that fixed. Uh, so I haven't put everything back together, but this is where my younger son sleeps. That's the cab area. Uh, and like I mentioned, we're getting a inspection sticker oil change today. Uh, that's $20 in our state for a two year inspection sticker. This is a little jackknife sofa. This is where my older son sleeps. Our dinette that's covered from all the bedding from the bunk area. The kitchen. Our door. Uh, we have an oven. I tend to use that little toaster oven on the floor more. And then my oven itself I use for storage. I have used it before, I just don't use it very often. We have a microwave. Lots of storage space. Um, this is the sink area, which is nice because it has this little cutting board cover. And that allows me to use that as a prep surface or I put a crock pot here a lot to cook. So my crock pot might sit on top here because our plug is just right there and the crock pot cord is kind of short. Um, the bathroom is kind of messy, but this will show you. I use it, I store things in here while we're traveling. Uh, but that's our shower. Now, if we're staying somewhere with bathhouses, I have absolutely zero problem with using that. It's a lot easier, especially with two boys. They're usually um, just easier. It's just easier for everybody to get their shower at one time. Uh, that's a cabinet. It really serves zero purpose. It's a nice cabinet. It's kind of fancy, but, uh, you know. And same with this medicine cabinet here medicine cabinet opens up and then I've got stuff in there but it just all falls out generally so I put it in a basket when we're uh, but that's that's uh, the bathrooms all in one it's got this towel rack which is nice refrigerator it's a nice big refrigerator Charlie stop that please All right, and then this is new. I just added a bedspread. Um, what I did was Walmart had this on sale, and this is actually a twin size, but with, I tried, I bought the full queen originally, because this is a short queen RV bed. I bought the full queen and it gapped up so much that I went back and I got the twin and just turned it sideways and uh, was able to, I haven't, fixed it up yet, but those are the pillow shams, and they had this marked down for about $20. Um, let me just show you. So, so I was real pleased with that, because prior, that's what the bedspread looked like, just kind of that matched that floor print. Uh, we put some inserts in up there. These are those Camco that covers they just fit in there and I left the plastic cover on them because it helped it fit better in there I have two closets back here I only put clothes in that one this one I use as a linen closet oh and I'm sorry I'm jerking around too much uh, and then we have a lot of storage over here as well which I don't have anything in there except a couple of spare pairs of shoes because uh, we've gotten really good at packing it the way it, you know, just kind of light and lean. And we don't go off yet to any of the northern states where we need the heavier clothes. We're in the south and we have primarily, uh, we travel in the south, so we don't get a lot of cold weather down here. We're not terribly far from the uh, Gulf of Mexico. So we do get some temperatures in the 20s. It's very rare though. Okay, so that's kind of the bedroom. This was a cabinet that the previous owner, eek, and I'm gonna have turned into a pantry storage area. And one thing I wanna add is some LED puck lights in here because it is dark in there. But as you can see, I've got a lot of storage space here. I use it as a food cabinet. And most of my uh, 
cooking stuff is in here that's not whatever I don't store in the stove so I've got little canisters to kind of help keep things organized keep food stuff in here freezer is empty we emptied it out because the vehicle was in the shop for a few days had to get the electric tip replaced or not replaced but repaired uh, on one of our recent trips, the boys left the step out and I hit a bridge with it. So it shoved it up against our outside door. We lowered it, we're able to get it to tuck back underneath the RV, but it wasn't working. I took it, got it fixed. That plus the window cost me less than $100. So that's our freezer, nice and large. And this is our refrigerator. And it's, it's pretty spacious. Uh, like I said, it's empty right now. We're headed to the grocery store next to refill, restock. The oven, I think I mentioned I use this as storage. Here. Um, I use a pizza stone, which is good if I ever do use the oven. I bought that though when I was still using the oven because things would burn on the bottom. But now that I've got this little Cuisinart toaster oven, it works great. If we're all patient and willing to wait, we don't all get to eat at the same time. It's, it's sometimes it takes a little two or three sessions with that because it, it isn't that big. And then I've got all this storage as well. Um, this one here, I just recently made it a linen cabinet with some towels because generally it's right beside the door and I was getting the boys bathhouse bags together and that way I can just send them on out their way. This one, we keep our entertainment Movies, games, first aid kit, puzzles are all in there for those days that we might have some rain. And if it's light lightning, I'll be honest, we all throw on rain slickers and we go for a hike in the rain. It doesn't really bother us as long as it's not lightning. But there are times that this is just a storage cabinet. It's got some movies in it. There was a TV in there. Or that's what it's designed for, but we don't use it for that. Um, games, Legos. Boys have about outgrown some of this stuff, though. So I was just saying, we got we'll have to clean that again. And this is where I keep all my paper goods. This is my cutlery or plasticware and napkin organizer. And just kind of keep all the paper goods up there. And some of this stuff, it just works well and some of it not so well so i'm constantly kind of reshuffling some of these things or our needs change this is my cabinet i keep my spices and more cutlery pots pans some ceramic bowls if i have to heat something up in the microwave our industrial size tony sasheries we're from louisiana and that is a staple item tony sasheries if you never tried it i highly highly recommend you you, you rush out and get some as quick as possible. Alrighty, and this, this is just my little drain tray here. Uh, this is damp red. I stick it in the sinks while we're traveling so it doesn't slide off the counters. We're in the humid south, so damp red is nice. It helps keep that moldy, misty, mildewy kind of smell out. Our sink, I store some little bottled waters in here while we're traveling. Um, that's an extra cutting board that I bought. There's a basket that fits down in it if I'm chopping veggies or fruit. But that's another item. I just bought it, it was on sale at Sam's, but I'm finding I'm really not using it that much, so it's probably gonna go soon to a, a Goodwill or a thrift store. Okay, I think that's it. There's the tour of the bathroom again. I'm trying to go slower. That's cabinet. The toilet. And the bathtub. And I do use my shower and my bathtub. Um, but I'm not opposed to using the bathhouse. And generally it is easier if the place has a bathhouse to use their bathhouse. Alright, anything you want to add, Butterbean? Yesterday. Y'all played in the mud yesterday. And we had fun. All right. Well, thanks for sharing that, love. All right, y'all. Well, we'll talk to you later. This is Class C Chaos signing out.